This video reviews the pain medication research for sciatica. It's based on a research review published in the British Medical Journal, shown here and referenced in the description. The first intervention for sciatica-related pain is typically medication. But how effective is medication for sciatica and what are the best options? Paracetamol is considered to be no more effective than a placebo for standard lower back pain and no high quality studies exist to consider its effectiveness for sciatica. So paracetamol, if it does have any benefit, is likely to simply be from the placebo mechanism. Overall, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen are no more effective than placebo in reducing pain or disability associated with sciatica. While there may be some benefit short term, the side effects of prolonged use should be considered alongside the weak evidence for their use. Benzodiazepines like diazepam also have been shown to be no more effective than placebo and in one small trial the drug actually increased the likelihood of experiencing pain for longer and was associated with a longer hospital stay when compared to the placebo drug. So not only was it ineffective but actually had a detrimental effect on the patient's recovery. The evidence for anticonvulsants like gabapentin and pregabalin is a bit more mixed. One trial identified that gabapentin led to a statistically significant reduction in pain, but another trial with possibly better methodology found that pregabalin and a similar medication were no more effective than placebo to reduce pain and improve function at short-term and long-term follow-up. And all of the trials mentioned reported a similar proportion of side effects. There is evidence to show that antidepressants like amitriptyline can provide some relief from the pain associated with sciatica. But like all medications, this type can have considerable side effects. And I've had a small proportion of my patients report reactions to these types of medication. So amitriptyline may be an option for some patients and it may be helpful at reducing the pain associated with sciatica. Opioids are known as the strongest form of pain relief. However, one trial did not show any benefit of morphine over a placebo to reduce the pain associated with sciatica. And adverse events such as constipation and drowsiness were more common in the opioid group compared to the placebo group. So in conclusion, what you need to know, the most effective pain medication to treat patients with sciatica is unclear. In approximately one third of patients, symptoms improve within two weeks. In three quarters of patients, symptoms improve within 12 weeks. And in a small proportion of patients, symptoms can continue after one year. That brings us to the end of this video. Please share it with anybody who you know who may find it helpful. Make sure you're subscribed and thank you for watching the Physio channel. Here on the screen, there are some other videos which you may find helpful.